Hello everyone, thanks for joining. My name is Itai Shakuri and I'm from the open source team in Aqua Security. And today I wanted to show you some of the recent changes in Tracy 0.4, which was recently released. If you don't know Tracy, it's a very capable system tracing tool that collects low-level events from the operating system, which you can then use to make security decisions and detections. Uh, you can go ahead and watch some of the other videos in this channel for an overview of uh, Tracy's features. This video focuses only on the recent changes in 0.4, which are mostly about filtering. So you know when you start Tracy, it starts collecting a lot of information, which might be overwhelming, it might be too much to understand. Uh, and we, we also allowed you, always allowed you to filter for uh, specific uh, events, for example, or for specific processes, for example. But this release really excels at covering many, many different filter options. So many that we had to actually uh, re rethink the entire user experience in order to accommodate all of the new filters. And this is what I'm going to cover in this video. So let's start by looking at Tracy. And I'm now just going to run Tracy and look at the initial output of it because there's going to be a lot of events coming. I want us to look at the table layout that we present. You can now filter by pretty much any column that you see here and even more as we, can, we will later see. Uh, for example, let's speak process ID, right? So we can say I want to trace a specific process ID. Let's create a bash shell here on the side. And I want to see what is the process ID of this, of this uh, newly created shell. It's 3591. So I can go to Tracy and tell it to trace. This is a new flag that takes an expression. I am going to tell it to trace um, the PID that is 3591. 3591. Uh, so this is a trace expression. There are many available supported trace expressions. You will find them all in the help. But anything that matches the expressions in the trace field, or if you have multiple trace field in all of them, will be traced. Anything that doesn't meet this criteria will be dropped. Okay. So in this case, I'm starting and if I am doing anything here, then you can see that Bash did something in order to launch ls. And this is what I'm seeing here. I see that the command bash did some stuff to look up the binary file for ls and to invoke it and so on. But I still don't see anything from ls itself, which is actually, it could be quite useful, right? So we now support this as well. You can tell Tracy to trace for this process ID, but to also follow this process ID to anything it might it might create. So any of the descendant of this uh, filter expression will also be traced. So now I'm going to run the same thing. This time when I'm running ls, you see that it started by capturing the events from bash, but then it also traced everything that ls did, right? This is a pretty cool feature and it's actually a very common use case that you want to trace anything that you do in, in a specific uh, shell. And uh, actually a more convenient way to do that is instead of filtering by the process ID, you can say command because again, it's, it's just another column in this table. So command can be filtered for as well. So I can say command equals bash, right? So this is a very, probably going to become a very popular um, trace expression. Trace anything that I do in some bash terminal. And now if I do something here, it is being traced here. All right, so let's come back to the previous attempt to trace a specific process ID. Another cool thing that you can do is instead of picking the specific number, the specific process ID, you can say something like new. This will tell Tracy to trace all of the newly created processes. 
and newly created means anything that was created after Tracy started. So let's do this. And anything that I do here, regardless of whether it's in Bash or whether it's in Zash or whatever, anything that I do here that is new will be captured, but anything that was running prior to me starting Tracy, like any of the host uh, services and daemons and so on, will be dropped, which can also be a quite useful um, tracing mode. By the way, um, previously to uh, 0.4, this was the default mode of Tracy. If you didn't say anything, if you just started Tracy without any flags, we would capture only newly created processes. We now default to capture all of the processes, and you can easily trace newly created processes using this quick filter. Another convenient new filter expression is container filtering. So I can do, I can start Tracy, Tracy, and tell it to trace only things that comes from container. I can write C or the full expression container, which will filter for anything that comes from a container. This LS invocation did not originate from a container. This is why it's not being picked up here. So let's uh, start a container. Let's do a docker run alpine. alpine. And you can see that um, anything that happens inside of the container is being captured here. I can also do the opposite. I can say, Tracy, please trace anything that is not a container. I need to uh, escape that uh, exclamation mark. In this case, when I do the same thing, I see anything the Docker does that involves in starting the container, anything the Docker daemon does on the host, but I will not see anything from inside of the container. So that is the container boolean expression. I can also say, just like the filter, uh, just like the PID filter, I can say container equals new, and then we, uh, that will show me only things from newly created containers. So in this case, from this container, but if I had a, a container that was running before that, it will not be traced. In the beginning, I said that pretty much anything that you see in this table layout can be filtered for. And this actually goes as far as filtering for specific events, but also the arguments to these events, which can be a very useful feature. Filtering for events is actually something that we've had since day one. You could always say, give me only open net system calls, for example. So with this release, not only did this functionality moved into the trace flag, to be alongside all of the other feature, all of the other filters, you can now also say, but I want to filter for open net system calls based on a specific value to one of its arguments. All right, so let's demonstrate that. I'm going to start Tracy, and I will tell it to trace event that is open at. That is equivalent to the old way of saying event open at, it's just moved now into the trace flag. If I start this, I see many events that are happening on the operating system that happen to involve open at. So let's filter it further. Let's say that I want only open at, but only where open at dot path name, this is one of the arguments to open at, only when the path name is hello. What this does is filter it for only the times when I try to open a file that is called hello. And I happen to have a file that is called hello here. Uh, this execution of ls didn't actually try to open this file, so let's try to open it. And uh, you can see that once I hit enter here and the file is trying to be opened, I am capturing this uh, system call here, but most importantly, I didn't capture anything else. This is what's very nice about this filter that it allows you to 
precisely define exactly what you want to trace and drop anything else. There are many many other filters and tracing modes that you can go ahead and explore. If you want to see the complete list you can start Tracy and you can tell the trace flag that you want it to print help. This will just print anything that's supported as a filter expression with a very detailed explanation of how to use this flag. We have actually adopted this pattern with other flags as well. If we take a look at the general help for Tracy, we see that this is the trace flag that we've just discussed. You don't see any of the other flags that you used to see in Tracy because they moved into the trace flag or into other flags that are now um, aggregating them. For example, the capture flag, and you can also tell the capture flag to show you help. Uh, the capture flag contains some of the other options that used to have top level flags which are now configured via the capture flag. Same goes for output. So anything that configures the output to some way is being now configured using the output flag that takes now an expression. All right, so that was a very quick uh, introduction to the recent features in the 0.4 release of Tracy. There are actually many more uh, that I didn't get to cover here. If you go to our GitHub, you will see that there is, under discussions, there is an announcement announcing the, the release, and it uh, also tries to highlight some of the most uh, interesting features that made this release. For example, we released uh, initial support for ARM processors. We released uh, the ability to, to print um, stack addresses for events. Uh, we fixed some stuff. So go ahead into GitHub, find this uh, announcement, and uh, tell us what you think. You can comment, you can like, and so on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and see you in the next one.